What's up YouTube, it's Alex Osh1234 here from iPhoneExpert.com and in this video I'm going to be doing an iMovie for the iPhone tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add pictures, videos, music, transitions, and a lot of other cool things that iMovie for the iPhone offers. Currently iMovie for the iPhone 4 is available in the App Store for $4.99 and hopefully it's coming to the iPhone 3GS in the coming days, but we'll have to see what Apple does. Alright, so let's get into it. I like to do my iMovie editing in landscape mode because I can see the video in the biggest format. So I recommend that, but it's up to you. You can also do it in portrait, but I like it in landscape. Alright, so let's just get to the main buttons. So this button on the top left will take you back to your projects. And here you can export it, 360p, 540p, 720p. And for 720p, you're going to need to plug this in to your computer and use iPhoto or Aperture or uh, iMovie to export that onto YouTube because they don't allow you to do it over Wi-Fi or 3G. Here you can play your video and here then you can delete it. Alright so let's go back and then we have this button on the bottom left. This is where you can add more media. You can see I have a lot of other videos that I've taken. So say I want to add this video of my dog. Because it, there's that little red marker there it's going to go on the front of the project and not on the back. So wherever you want your newest media to go, or newest content, you have to put that marker where you want it to go. And you can see I have music going. So if we wanted to add music to our clip, we go to audio, and we can go through our songs, and we can choose any of the songs that we have. They let you choose anything in your iTunes playlist, which is a really nice feature. Alright, so here we have this little settings button. We can choose from the themes that they offer. There's travel, bright themes, uh, modern. They don't offer too many. Uh, news, which we're doing like a news podcast or something like that. And then they can they offer theme music, so you can either choose to use a theme music or choose your own. If you're using your own, you want to turn this off. So I have it on just because I'm going to use that for this clip. Let me get cancel here. So if you want to take a video or picture right away, you can click that button on the bottom right and then you can take a video or a picture and then add it to your uh, project. Alright, so let's go here. Alright, so here we have some clip settings. Title style. I'm going to choose middle because I've liked that one the best. And they're using the theme title, so that's why it looks kind of like a design. Alright, so now we can type something in here. So, hi. Okay, there we go. And then we click done. So that's going to last throughout the clip. You can see there. Then we have this little, I have another one here. So we can change that. Say we want the ending one. Yo. All right, so there we go. Now we have some text there. And we've decided on our text and what it says. So we want to double click to get to that and then you can change your location and you can choose the audio. If you want the audio for the clip that was recorded during the clip, so say my dog was barking, we can have the audio on or off. That's a good feature. Sometimes you want to hear say fireworks in the background or uh, you don't want to hear people yelling. So you can decide on that. All right, we also have some other really cool things. We can delete the clip right there if we don't like it. Or another thing is you can drag it out. So there you go. It's deleted from there. Now we have transitions. So they offer really one transition. Then they offer other tr transitions for the theme that it comes with. But uh, the cross dissolve is pretty nice. But they definitely need to add more transitions for iMovie. Because there's only one. I mean they should at least have five to choose from. So you can decide how long you want the transition to be. I usually like it around one second or 0.5 seconds but it usually depends how long your clip is click done let's play it just to see what we have going on you can see that the, the audio is on for this one that's why I can hear it so there we go it's 12 second clip there and you can see that it's pretty good now the main thing I want to I'll tell you guys is you want to be playing around with the features of this because there's a bunch of little things that they offer. I've showed uh, almost all of them and uh, you can choose your audio 
and transitions and stuff like that hopefully they will be adding more but when you're making a video I recommend you just play around with it because you might find a cool thing with a theme or uh, some good music that it's good with so I hope you like this iMovie tutorial make sure to go back to your projects once you're fully done with your movie and you can export it into HD 720p for uploading onto YouTube make sure you have to go on your computer to do that because they don't offer that and I have a video on that uh, just look at my prior videos all right so I hope you like this video I really appreciate everyone watching and iMovie for the iPhone is relatively really good for a mobile device and I was able to make a pretty decent video on uh, that I put up so I'll put a link in the description or an annotation so look for that and you can see my iPhone 4 video montage all in HD alright so thanks for watching everyone peace out and also check out my website iPhoneExpert.com and bestipadwalls.com those will be in the underbar so you can check that out and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash alexosh1234 and uh, make sure to comment below how you like your iPhone 4 if you have one or uh, if you have a little rant on the iPhone 4 or, or uh, the 3GS you want iMovie on it make sure to comment that in the description I mean in the comments thanks for watching peace out see ya